Good morning, folks. If you missed yesterday's updates, it's very worth quickly catching up as things are moving quickly. Let's start in Europe today. The storms are not of the strength they had before, but the convergence line and clouds are now taking their shots at the remainder of the continent. It's that time, folks. We put Australia on notice for storm development about 10 days ago, aiming at post-Christmas for development, and it has begun. We're not at tropical storm level development yet, but this will be the zone of interest to end the week here. Eyes on the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Kicking to South America, it's happened again. The rainforest has been statistically rainier than before, and the yearly mudslides and flash floods are getting into a groove now, killing dozens of people over the holiday. Lastly, all lows are north here. That's where most of the heaviest snow can be found. I believe some still don't have power from the snowstorms this past week. Let's go to space weather. We went three weeks without a gamma burst until this morning. Cosmic ray charts went a little loopy yesterday. It was completely reacting to the solar wind. The non-homogeneous shock came in two or three pieces. We now have calming as the solar wind speed calls out the solar shutdown. All disturbances have waned at this point. Solar flaring is still low, but I spy complexion on the disk. Let me slow this down at the end and point out trailing umbral build turning in and a new sunspot just south and in front of the lead. That lead baby is negatively polarized to contrast the large positive umbra. Too bad it's turning. However, a delta spot does appear to have been born this morning in the back. The larger grouping didn't exist yesterday and has bipolarity crammed in there. Coronal fields continue to open up a bit. This matches the oncoming openings and in integrating space weather. Mercury set to conjoin the sun tomorrow. Shots of the wind map and our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.